Hey guys, Rachel from Trino Nights, and today I'm going to be using Fimo Leather for the first time, and I'm going to be making a Origami Princess Peach from the new Paper Mario game that we'll be releasing very, very soon. I'm super excited. I hope you are too, so let's go clay. So I bought this set of Fimo leather with a bunch of different colors and I was super excited to try it but I had to mix some colors myself to get a beige color and then I also mixed these together to get a lighter orange, a light pink, and a more blue that fit what I needed. Then I was able to use white, hot pink, yellow, and black straight out of the package. I leached it for about 10 minutes so it wasn't too soft get all my supplies together and start with the beige clay and I'm just kind of looking at my reference image and then just cutting out the shapes that I see um, so it's kind of hard to explain how I did it like I literally just looked at the shape and then tried my best to cut it and to get the fold paper line down the middle I put it against the back of my cutting blade and kind of pinched it and then flattened it out a little bit so it had that groove but it wasn't like too exaggerated, just enough so it looked like it was folded. And I cut out the shape for her dress and did the same folding. And then I'm cut the, cutting these triangles for the part of her dress behind her, but we'll save those for later. And then I'm using a hot pink to cut the little frame of her dress, the trim, and then the little poofy parts. I don't know what those are called. The little poofy parts on her dress. And then I cut out a square diamond shape for the jewel in the center of her chest and cleaning up because I'm going to use white and white is scary because it gets so messy and I'm cutting these really long uh, triangle type shapes for her arms and then little tiny black rectangles for her eyes Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and bake her so I don't mess any more of her up. And now I'm going to use the yellow for her hair. And again, I'm just looking at the reference image and then cutting out the shape that I see, trying to match up where the uh, parts come in behind her so I get the right shape. And I added a little bit extra so that way the squares that will go on the front of her head have something to latch onto so she kind of gets sandwiched in. And then some more blue diamonds for her earrings. Okay, so I stepped away for a little bit and I ended up having a run-in with a cat. So my hands don't look the greatest. <laughs> but I want to keep working on my project, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, so now that my hands are injured... <laughs> I'm going to cut out some squares and do the folding techniques on them as well and use a uh, silicone tool to kind of put some indentions in the corners. And I'm putting two squares and then a triangle shape for her hair and putting a little bit of clay underneath her bangs to give it some extra support. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess clay. And back to those triangles from before, I'm just adding some trim to those. And now I can press them onto the back of her dress, blending slightly and then adding a little bit of bacon bond just to give it some more support. And I'm using a light orange clay for her crown and putting a pin in the top of her head and then sandwiching the crown on both sides and then pressing the top triangle into the sides to kind of blend it into more of one piece. And we'll bake again. And one last step to make sure she's extra secure and flat on the back, I just added some extra pink clay to fill in the extra gaps that were back there. And a final bake and glue on a pin back so she can go on to whatever you want. And there she is, the finished Paper Princess Peach Origami pin made out of polymer clay. Uh, since she is female leather, she is flexible, so she is more durable, which is really cool. I'm excited to play more with it, and I hope y'all enjoyed this project. Thank y'all for watching my video. I had so much fun making this little lady, and if y'all make this little pin as well, go ahead and tag me in social medias, because it feels so good to know that I inspire y'all to make something. Like, that feels really, really good. 
And if you have the time, go ahead and watch one of these videos that pop up on the screen in this little area right here. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe because it helps the channel grow and I have a lot of really fun things planned. So that's great. You don't want to miss it. And with that said, I don't think I have anything left to say. So I will see y'all in the next one.